So in looking at these uh, problems, again, if you can understand what the log represents, it makes it easy to evaluate without a calculator. Okay, so again, the whole thing, this whole expression represents the power to which your base 2 needs to be taken to equal the input, 16. So 2 to what power equals 16? Good. And again, if you need to rewrite it in its exponential form or to solve it, you can. So you could take your base 2 to the power of y is equal to 16 and just express 16 with the same base 2, 2 to the fourth, and you can see that the y is equivalent to 4. Okay, same here. Now, again, before you uh, work to evaluate this, uh, what you could uh, also do is you could think of this as uh, 8 to the minus 1. 8 is also a perfect power with the same base 2. So you could think of 1 over 8 as 2 to the minus 3 as well. And so what you could think of is what power do you need to take 2 to, this base 2, in order to equal this whole expression, which would mean it would have the same power. And so what would that number be? Negative 3. Okay. And so what you should be able to see based on that definition and is if you can represent these numbers in that form. So if I represent this as log base 2 of 2 to the 4th, here, log base 2 of 2 to the minus 3rd. Okay, because of the way our definition exists, it's the power to which we take our base to equal the input. Uh, if you can rewrite your input using the same base as the base of the log, then the solution is just its power. Does that make sense? So like if I took this here, 1,000 is, since I'm looking at a base 10, 1,000 is 10 to what power? So that means our solution is just going to be this power, 3. Now, you could also think of it as what power do you need to take base, this base of 10 to equal 1,000, and it's going to be the same number. Okay, what about this? So point zero zero 0.001 is 1 over 1,000, which means, or here, uh, if you move this, 1, 2, 3. When you uh, look to solve this, what you're looking at is oops, okay, and you get 1 over 10 to the third, which is 10 to the minus third. And so what's your overall value going to be? Negative 3. 